We talked about sending a custom error status code, but what if we want to send one of the 200 status codes? Uh, now, most of the time, we're, we are going to be just sending 200, and so that's probably okay. We don't need to do anything clever. But whenever you create a resource, it is nice to send back a 201 to let the front end know that, hey, it's successful and an insert happened to whatever permanent data store that you have. Uh, 201 stands for a cr success created uh, resource. So let's go, um, uh, let's go create a route. And uh, do we have, I don't think we have anything here. Let's create a new request for maybe like an, a fake insert. So we'll do a post for this one because that's usually what we do. So HTTP equal host port 3000. Um, maybe this is like creating a new user or maybe it's just creating a new thing. Maybe we can like just increment a counter something. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's maybe we'll just say like some resource. So that's um, returns 201. That's what I'm gonna name this route just so it's more obvious what's gonna happen uh, if you're sort of looking through to find this example later. All right, so we got our normal 404. Let's go ahead and fix that. This is a returns 201.rs. Okay, so we're gonna have a pub async function returns 201. Go ahead and get that set up here. All right, so we have returns 201, returns 201. And at the bottom here, we're gonna put this under a post. So route returns 201. Did I, is that exactly what I named it? I did, yeah. And service is going to be a post. Uh, and we're going to put in a returns 201 here. Okay, excellent. Now we get a 200 back, but we want a 201 back. Okay, so what we're going to do, instead of uh, returning like a data type, like a string or something like that, we're going to return a response. And then we can turn actually just anything that can be turned into a response is going to be fine. Um, in order to return a custom, uh, like a custom status code, uh, we can use a tuple. So we're going to turn a tuple here. Uh, now the first thing is going to be the status code itself. So we want a status code uh, created. That's going to be our 201 and then whatever data or anything else. So we can just do a message, which was, uh, this is a 201. And let's two own that. And then we have to do a into here to convert it into the type that we want it to be. Uh, the three pound response, accent error, it's not satisfied because the requirement interest Fonts. Um, for here's the status code uh, and the string. I let's go take a look at the documentation. Um, I may have gotten it backwards. So to find it, we're gonna go to uh, axum responses. So anything that implements into response can be returned from handles. Uh, so let's go to response more, returning different response types. All right, so here's here's what we're, oh, it's this into response. That's that's what we're looking for. Uh, so because we have just a tuple, it's not into response. So it's not into, it's into response. Let's change that. Into response. That makes it happy. We're gonna come back to our uh, request, and now we have a 200 created. Now we're also sending back this um, this response to the 200. If we don't want that, if we just want to send 
nothing here, uh, we can um, we can just send nothing essentially. And there we go, an empty body with a 201 created. Now this does work for errors. We could have this send back anything else. So we can use that I'm a teapot again. And we get that 418 I'm a teapot. Put, let's put this back to created. And there we go. Okay, hopefully this was helpful in uh, now you can create custom uh, responses using that sort of tuple method that's going to be the, um, uh, well, whatever response you want. So a custom code and then a custom body if you so desire it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.